she ran with my place. She ran and won first place. She ran and took my place. What's going on? I'm back with another video. So today we're going to do my part two of my friendship heartbreak. Stop playing with her, Ryan. How can I lose if I'm already chosen? Like, if she's feeling hot, then I'm lift up his shows and I get up his hair every time that I post. Damn. If the party not lit, then I'd rather not go. If she's feeling hot, then I'm lift up his shows and I get up his hair every time that I post. Damn. Okay, y'all. I didn't record it this once. Because I forgot the double click, like the sound thing, y'all. I'm so mad. But we're going to get this story time over with. Talk about part two of my friendship heartbreak that I had on um, like two years ago, maybe main topics that I need to talk about in this situation because it's so many okay I'm not gonna even hold you I'm gonna be truthful as fuck I'm gonna be real, real truthful we had we didn't argue as much as it's gonna be another topic on here somebody came between our friendship we ain't never argued that much and that hard in that friendship somebody got in the middle of it but I'm gonna tell y'all, we bumped heads a lot. We didn't really talk that much. We would talk 24 seven. We like basically gave each other space, but it was cause of that lady. <laughs> that lady, yeah. Um, We argued a lot, we bumped heads a lot. We didn't talk that much. It was just dry conversation all the time because actually i don't know if i even regret it but when we first started talking we told each other everything so you know we was friends for like a couple and we told each other everything but that probably was the problem because we told each other so much that we didn't have nothing else to talk about but our day-to-day -day lives so we really didn't talk that much heads we were always like giving each other space all the time the next bullet point is friends, a friend becoming between our friendship. A mutual friend of hers, right? I'm tired already. Okay, y'all, so a mutual friend in her um, area, a mutual friend of hers basically um, presented herself. Now, in part one, y'all gotta watch part one. Part one, I mentioned that I was a friend, right? You know, friends, you know, they back up their friends, right? I backed her up. When she, you know, we spoke on this person before. And I put myself in her business. It had nothing to do with me. I blame myself. I blame myself for it. I definitely put myself in the middle of that. I did. Um, because number one, if somebody doing my friend like that, no, we not about to do that, okay? We ain't about to do that, and we ain't gonna never do that. For this situation right here, karma got me at the end. So, I feel like we wasn't arguing as much, A, did when she came into my life. Because she been in hers. She came in my life. It was just a lot of arguing. There was a lot of, like, na like nasty energy. And this girl gave me peace. Remind y'all, I told y'all, this girl gave me peace. Like, we never had no issues or nothing. So, for the energy to be off, and I can't just blame her, but I'm feeding off her energy. So, if you giving me this nasty-ass energy, I'm going to feel like um I'm probably bothering you. I'm probably annoying you. You need to tell me something. Very much something. You need to tell me something. What am I doing? So, our friendship was just... It should never be like that, but I remember us having a conversation like, she was like, hey, she's not going to take your place. She ran with my place. She ran and won first place. She ran and took my place. She's basically telling me like, this girl's not going to take your place. Like, we are besties. You know, woo 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 The tea I was getting from her <laughs> was, we was never going to stop being friends because of her. Newsflash, it was no shade. I'm gonna blame me. I'm gonna blame that lady. She did that. Um, it was just a lot going on. I just feel like that type of friend, she kind of, I don't know if she was feeding off her, but you know when somebody it's like a bad influence on somebody, you know it and you feel it. You feel it through the phone, you feel it. Um, and the next one is not talking to each other like we used to. Y'all, we used to talk 24-7. I remember, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all, she came over my house for the first time. I always said the first time because I never have company over here unless it's my cousin or that's it. 
<laughs> I don't have company. I don't like company. But I remember it was our first time she came over. My sister picked her up and everything. I, I loved that day. I don't know if I have any pictures. I think I deleted most of the pictures. I don't need, I'm sure, I don't think I have the pictures, but I remember we recorded a video, y'all. If y'all are, like, loyal supporters, subscribers, y'all know that we made a video. We made a get to know me, like a best friend tag, right? I wrote down questions and all this stuff. I want to just tell y'all, like, a little backstory. Um, it was a lot of, me, I have ADHD, bipolar depression. Cool, I don't like to throw that on everybody that's kind of just my well-being being. like that's just me like I was born with it and I still have it like I'm gonna always have it so I am a forgetful person it was a lot of things that she threw out at the end of the friendship it was just a lot right it was a lot so as I'm saying we didn't talk as much like that but you know when it ended you not there like that that was my bitch you can't tell you couldn't tell me none about her after everything you couldn't tell me nothing about her you couldn't tell me nothing. That was my girl. No shade. We wouldn't even date. That was my girl. <laughs> that was my lady. Like, you couldn't tell me anything about that. So, for us to just, like, bump heads so much and argue and turn each other, no, like, locations. Like, we had location shirt. Like, everything. Like, we talk 24-7 and we say good morning to each other. It was just really weird how this specific person comes in and destroys I guess that was her plan and she did it she ate it she ate it up for me the last one is not us not being friends anymore it's so much to build on to this but um yeah we basically i remember this like it was yesterday y'all um i remember this like it was yesterday it was on my mom's birthday. I remember this. We was not talking as much that day. Um, I think I texted her one time or something like that. And I think we got in an argument or whatever. But it was like nighttime. I remember that it was nighttime. And I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, I'm going to text her. Me thinking like, hey, you know, she my best friend. Maybe she'll understand where I'm coming from. Like, hey, I, need to, I just need some space because we just been bumping heads so much. I'm thinking it's nothing, right? It wasn't. And it was not just because I didn't want to be friends with her. No more. It's just I we needed space from each other because we were bumping heads so much. And I'm like, okay, maybe this is a kind of work for us because we literally been going at it all the time. And I don't want that. And I guess she took it a different way. And we proceeded to argue. And I proceeded to block because that's my fast, quickest way to do it. Um, it's a lot of things that happen after I cried my eyes out that day. I remember that day so clearly. I got on the phone with my friend. I was just telling him, like, that is so crazy. How, like, why would she do such things like that? Um, the morning after the friend heartbreak, whatever, like, after we stopped being best friends, um, my brother came in the room and told me that she was writing, she was ripping up the letters that I wrote her. Because I guess I blocked her and she seen it or whatever like that. I definitely blocked her. That's the best thing I can do and I'm going to still do it today. I die. I'm going to block. If I feel irritated, it's nothing else to talk about. She don't want to be my friend no more. It's cool. We ain't got to, we ain't got to do that. But no shade, y'all. This stuff escalated so quickly. That's why I said I wanted a part three. Because every it happened so quickly and I forgave her. I forgave her multiple times, but in this, it was just too much going on. I know she's a hothead. She's a petty motherfucker. She's petty. I can tell you that. I learned a lot from her. I learned her every other day that I was talking to her, speaking to her, writing letters to her. She's a very hothead type of person. She is. No shade. It's just <sighs> a lot of stuff happened that didn't need to happen at all. It was just, y'all, when I tell y'all, it was too much. It was, when I tell, when I tell you, it was so much on my plate. Oh, my God. I Like, sometimes I wish I never, like, I don't know. It's just like, uh, we just stopped being friends because I said I needed space from her. I don't know. She probably was fed up with it, but... I didn't take it as not being friends. I took it as like, hey, we need we need some boundaries. We, I'm going to come back stronger and we're going to talk about this. You know, it should be like that. We was up each other's ass 
I could understand that, you know, we literally was in each other asses, wiping each other asses every other day, every day. I just felt like we just needed a break and I didn't know that she would take it that far. Like I didn't know that. And I wouldn't I didn't know that I would take it that far either. A lot of stuff happened. I had to change my number. I had to do a lot of things in that situation. But um previously in 2023 she texted me. She texted me or whatever, y'all. I in the video, in the first video, um I said that even if she texts me today, I will always reply back. I don't know if I'm a dumbass. I, I could be a dumbass. I mean, when you like an inside person and you know exactly what happened, you're like, yeah, that's you a dumbass. Like, <laughs> I mean, if, if if this if another thing happened between y'all, yeah, it's your fault. It's, it's, it's definitely your fault. Um, but she texted me and I spoke to her on the phone about everything because I think she seen my video. She um commented on my video. Um, and I hearted it or whatever, and she texted me or something. She apologized to me, and I got on the phone with her, and I told her that I have no hate in my heart for her. I love her, and I, I respect this, and I respect, I think you should respect my boundaries, and all of that type of stuff, but I feel like that was the only person I needed, like, peace from because of so many things i'm healing from my breakup that my horrible breakup that i just went through five months well six months ago so i'm six months i'm six months yeah i'm six months single so i'm, I'm pretty excited about that but i just kind of was telling her like you know um i have no head in my heart like i it was very the, the the apology was very long because it's a crazy story to tell like i was with her first love right me and him broke up and we became friends it's it's a it's a it's a weird story to tell it's a crazy story to tell that we loved each other we were strangers and then we get to know each other and we loved each other and it was just a lot but i explained to her everything and we talked about everything we spoke about everything um, we both want peace from the situation. Um, she says she understand if I don't want to talk to her. And honestly, yeah. And she says she don't want to hurt me. And I respect that. She came to me as young adults that we are. And she decided to apologize to me. I mean, um, like I told her, I said every time she would text me, I would get anxiety. Because I don't know what else is going to happen. But I, I I definitely respect her for the apology she gave me. It was a very long apology, and I loved it. And I was just telling her how, you know, I don't have no hate in my heart. Like, I still love you, and I'm still keeping my eye on your ass. <laughs> I like this video. It was pretty not long. I'm sorry if my content is a little short, but... I don't be having that much storage. Y'all understand what I'm saying. But make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications to get more videos like this and more bad bitches comedic content is coming out. We almost at 1K. And it's 2023. And it's January. Y'all know the story. <laughs> Y'all know the story. Stop playing with it. But um, I love y'all. And I hope y'all had a beautiful, beautiful day. And um, I will see y'all next time.